but if I had to bet on one religion as if I were betting on the stock market for the future, you have to bet on Islam. Mm. The, because Muslims are intolerant. And I'm, not, and I'm not saying that disrespectfully. Because if you're tolerant of everything, then you stand for nothing. Yeah. Right. Christians are so tolerant now that you can go to church. These girls will get fucked on a Saturday night and go to church on a Sunday morning and get fucked on Sunday night. And it's all and it's no big deal. Right. So you don't believe it. They have gay pastors that are, I'm not even anti gay. But if the book says don't have like what the fuck? Yeah, what yeah. do you believe in? Now? Right, yeah, right. If, you're tol if you're tolerant of everything, you stand for nothing. I can walk through London with a T-shirt saying Jesus is gay and nothing will happen to me. If I did the same thing with the Islamic prophet, I'd be dead before I got to the end of the street. Boom. As many people know, uh, my parents are from Sudan. Yep. I grew up in a Muslim household, right? Yep. Uh, let me hide this white cloth. <laughs> so, sorry, bro. <laughs> sorry. Um, and, uh, and, you know, and I grew up in a traditionally uh, Muslim household. My parents, you know, both speak Arabic, yeah. came from Sudan here in the 80s, whatever it may be. So, obviously, I, I see the world a certain way, yeah. uh, with, you know, with men being men, women being women. Yeah. And I notice in a lot of your um, Tate speeches and everything else like that, yeah. you, you, me and you have very similar ideals when it comes to the, the, the way we view the world and Islam, women, etc. And, uh, you know, I know that you, you know, did a big part of your, I guess, growing up in yeah. uh, England, the yeah. UK, yeah. Luton to be exa exact, yeah. exact, right? Yeah. And um, very big Muslim population. Yeah. What are some big takeaways you took from living with Muslims, uh, seeing the, the lifestyle, seeing the religion? Cool. What's your take on that? All right. So three points again. I always have three points. <laughs> if you have a problem with feminism, Islam will fix it. <laughs> mm. If you have a problem with your wife not obeying you, Islam will fix it. Islam fixes a lot of the problems that men are car currently facing. Yeah. The problems we're discussing on this show, Islam yeah. fi fixes all of them, mm. right? That's the first thing about Islam. And I'm not a Muslim, right? If I had to choose a religion, I would because I live in an Orthodox Christian country, I go to the Orthodox Christian church. I donate $20,000 a month to the church in the country okay. I live in. The church, okay. the church in Romania is very powerful, and I like having church friends. So mm. I give them a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. So I would guess I'm an Orthodox Christian, but... If I had to bet on one religion as if I were betting on the stock market for the future, you have to bet on Islam. Mm. The, because Muslims are intolerant. And I'm, not, and I'm not saying that disrespectfully. Because if you're tolerant of everything, then you stand for nothing. Yeah. Facts. Christians are so tolerant now that you can go to church. These girls will get fucked on a Saturday night and go to church on a Sunday morning and get fucked on Sunday night and it's all and it's no big deal, right? Yeah. So you don't believe it. They have gay pastors that are, I'm not even anti-gay. But if the book says don't have like what the fuck? Yeah, what yeah. do you believe in now? Yeah, right, yeah, right if you're tall if you're tolerant of everything, you stand for nothing. I can walk through London with a t-shirt saying Jesus is gay and nothing will happen to me. If I did the same thing with the Islamic prophet, I'd be dead before I got to the end of the street. Boom. That's how much they believe and respect. And I respect people who stick up for what they believe in. Yeah. It's not even about me believing in it. I respect them because they, they believe and they will defend. Muslims are the only people who will defend their religion. They will defend their beliefs. They refuse to be mocked. Mm -hmm. They refuse to be insulted. And I respect that about them. I respect that. That's an amazing thing about them. Right? And the third point is, and I've been all around the world, some of the best countries in the world today are the first world Muslim nations. Yeah. Mm, Qatar, you can go to Qatar, you can fall asleep with a million dollars on your lap in the middle of the street. Nothing's going to happen to you. Saudi Arabia as you well. You can go to Saudi, nothing will happen to you. You can go to Dubai, UAE, nothing's going to happen to you. They leave their cars parked with the, with the keys, keys inside. inside. It's so safe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's so safe. Women, everyone's married. Every woman obeys her husband. Every single woman has four, five, six kids. Big families, all the things we're talking about, all the problems we have here, right? They've got none of that, none of it, because of Islam. Islam keeps society in the role where women obey their man, women have children, women have big families, women are exceptionally happy to do so. Yes. Before, yeah. before some Western girl comes in here and runs her mouth, the, the Islamic women are happier than any fucking thought you're going to see in the club tonight. They're very true. They're happy. <laughs> society is functioning their population is growing because in most Western countries, the population is declining. Yep. Tim Cass was talking about it today. I was talking yeah. about we were Two people have home. one yeah. kid. Doesn't work. Doesn't <clears> work, right? Two people need to have 3.1 kids because people die, right? People die prematurely, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 
So we have population problems in the West. We have none of the population problems. Society is functioning. And that's, that's what society is. Society is society starts at the smallest possible group. You have families, and families make a street, and that street makes a village, and that village makes a town, that town makes a city, and that city makes a country. So if it's yeah. broken at the very fundamental level, if it's family level's broken, then it's broken the whole way up. Yep, yep. And that's what's happened in the West. And the first world Islamic countries have none of those problems. So if you're going to talk about a belief system that fixes issues, you need to go to Islam. And I will that, say this that will too. fix <laughs> everything. And look, I'm yeah. not Muslim, but half my family is Christian, half is Muslim. Sorry to say this, the half that's Christian, they're all divorced. Yeah. The half that's Muslim, they're still married, yeah. hello kids, yeah. and they're happy. Yeah. The wives do serve, serve, serve their husband, yep. the kids understand yep. the roles, and generally they're happy. Yep. You're right on that, 100%. So I respect, I just have absolute, re- even though I wouldn't identify as Muslim, yeah. I, have su- I have absolute respect for the ideology, yeah. respect for the mentality, respect for the warrior aspect of it. I, I respect it. They don't play. They don't play. You can't insult their shit. But you can insult the church all day. You can make fun of it. There, there's a fucking show on Netflix about a gay Jesus. That's a joke, right? Ha, ha, ha. And yeah. what, what do the Christians do? Nothing. Yeah. Christians, Christianity is a dead religion. If you're a Christian, and I'm saying this as a Christian myself, Christianity is a dead religion which is confined to, to the, the history books. It's dying out. Your own pope. The Pope goes up there and talks LGBTQ shit That's now. crazy. It is over. That's you don't crazy. stand for anything. You don't believe in anything. You have no boundaries. You're walked on. You're mocked. You're, you're divorced. Your fucking Christian wife, after taking her to church for 20 years, will fuck the gardener behind her back. The whole thing is a joke. Being a Christian now is nothing more than advertising you're a loser. <laughs> it's a losing religion because you've lost to Islam. That's the future of religion. And, and, and I'll say this too. Real-